Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a Dell laptop. It is Dell a nice laptop? Can be, can be a nice laptop. So this job is coming from a local repair shop, and they booked in the job for a battery replacement and a fan replacement. This is a Dell Latitude 35A0. So they replaced the battery and the fan, and they said, even after they replace the fan, the fan is not spinning. So just to check, let's press the power button. And the laptop it is coming on and working. So we're gonna check the fan. Now, let's understand how the fan is working, because here it's uh, some confusion. The fan on our laptop is working same like the fan on like a car engine, like a petrol engine or diesel. Basically on the car, you know, the water, it's, it's inside of the engine block, yeah? It's not doing anything. Till the moment the engine is reaching like 80 degrees, then the water is going through the radiator and it's getting cooled. It's not getting cooled, sorry. It's getting maintained to that temperature, like 80 degrees, yeah? Not higher, no lower. So same on the laptops, because uh, we have chips, we have solder, we have copper, we have gold there, and all they suffer of uh, thermal deformation. I, I, I think that's why it's cold. So it's getting hot, it's getting bigger, yeah? It's getting cold, it's getting smaller. Then when that happens, uh, you know, cracks can happen, like crack, like solder cracks, and yeah. Same with the laptop. So the laptop fan, it will start at a certain temperature, and it will try to keep that temperature. So we know the laptop is working. I will say, let me shut down the laptop, and uh, let's open the laptop and have a look how we can test the fan, yeah? Give me just one second to open the laptop. Now, it's one rule. On the fans here yeah? and it's very easy to check with the multimeter so no matter what spinning no spinning whatever you should have five volts on the fan even if it's a digital fan or like a simple pwm fan so you should always have five volts there so that's something what you can check and the laptop it's open yeah, that's a nice motherboard. Nice heatsink. So, uh, can we check if we have 5 volts? Yeah. So, let me power on the laptop. The laptop is on. Let's see. So, on the fan connector, this one, we have nothing. And we have nothing, and that's not good. And then we have... Some data here, 4.9. I mean, not sure if, yeah, so we do have five volts, check there. I mean, not sure why the voltage is changing. Can be a data line, can be. But the data line usually, no, it's not data line. It is data line. The data line, it's usually, you know, like a 3.3, .3, the standard data line. I mean, it can be even 5 volts if it's PWM. Hmm? Okay, let's check, the, let's check the fan connector, yeah? I mean, let's try to figure it out from where the 5 volts is coming. So the 5 volts is coming from this chip. Check here, you can see? The fan is connected straight here. And this chip output is 0. Can be ground, can be ground. Wait, what's, what fan is this? We free, wait, one second. Uh, I mean, not sure if they ordered the wrong fan. Why this fan has only, this is like a basic fan. This is that kind of fan from like 15 years old laptops where, uh, where actually you change the voltage on the fan from like 0 to 5. And the extra wire, it's actually the RPM which is written from the fan. This is unexpected, to be honest with you. I didn't expect that. So I'm not sure if this is the wrong fan or this is how it's supposed to be from the factory. I mean, this is a Dell laptop. Even on cheap laptops, I'm, I'm not seeing something like that, this kind of fans. 
So not sure what's going on here, but clearly this is ground, this is plus. Plus is coming from this chip. And this chip, check here, yeah, has all pins together here. And here we have zero volts, okay. And on this pin we have five volts. So I'm assuming the voltage is coming here and it's, come, it's supposed to come out here. I can only assume. And has zero volts. I mean, this is proper strange. I've never seen something like that. On new lab, this is a new Dell. It's not like old. So what I'm gonna do just to prove if the fan is working. Okay, the laptop is still on. So what I will do, yeah, that's what how you can check. You heat up the the heatsink, but be careful to not uh, pass the hundred degrees because the laptop it will shut down. And you know what, this is proper hot and the fan is not spinning. And the fan is spinning. Hmm? You can see the fan spinning, yeah. So the fan, it is working and the voltage on the fan is 2.9 volts, you can see. So when the laptop is cooling down, let's cool down the heatsink. The fan is still spinning. And the fan switched to zero volts. You can see on the fan stop. Now let's try to push the fan to like max speed. Max speed, we should have five volts on max speed, right? And the fan start, you can see, and we have 3.4 and it's going down. So basically, the CPU is getting hot and the fan RPM is supposed to go uh, to goes up. So we have 2.9 volts. We have 3.4, 3.5, you can see. Trying to get the voltage higher, we have 3.8, 3.9, 4 volts, you can see. We have 4 volts, and now the fan is spinning faster, and it will cool down the heatsink, and on that moment, the voltage, it will go down. Let's wait. Yeah, it's cooling down, but looks like the laptop is uh, it's, it's holding on the, on the RPM. On some point, it will stop. And the voltage is going down, 3.6. If we are waiting more, we're going to see the, the voltage is going to drop uh, down to zero. Check there. 2.9. And it will go down to zero, and the fan it will stop spinning. Check that. And the fan switch to zero. Hmm? Proper cool, right? Yeah, that's how the fans are working. And yeah, the laptop is still working, didn't shut down. So what I want you to keep in mind, I want to keep in mind how to test. Yeah, because you will end up same like this computer shop. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't know if the fan is working or not. You don't have the password, so you can't really heat up the CPU to test the fan. And the way to heat up the, um, the CPU is with the hot air. And it's nothing to be scared of. I mean, even if you pass 100 degrees, the little bit will just shut down and nothing bad it will happen. So use the hot air and you should see the fan spinning. But yeah, pay attention. This is rare. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that. A fan with three wires. But usually you'll see PWM fans and digital fans, and you always you should have five volts on the on the fan connector. So that's the first condition in order for the fan to work. Okay, so in this case, it's nothing what we can do. The laptop it is working fine. It is working how it's supposed to work. I'm uh, gonna stop now. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Yeah, this was an easy one. Yeah, just to prove how the fan is working.
but can create a lot of confusion in a case like this. See you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.